Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, 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 Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Go ahead. Yep, go back. Click that like button. Even though you haven't heard the message, go ahead, click the like button. Thank you for doing so. All right. Uh, subscribe, share, do all of that. Thank you for continuously doing that if you do that. Um, let's get into the thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear concise message from you so when i was meditating off camera for you i was getting um love you know the compassion the eyes of love see this person see these people through the eyes of love aquarius so um some of you don't have no compassion for these people or this person because all you can see is the hurt the pain but maybe that's all they had to give you ever think about it like that? So if I only have one dollar to give and you're asking of me five dollars, I can only give you one dollar, right? I only have one dollar. That's all I have. And maybe I don't even want to give you my entire dollar. So now I can only give you 50 cents or half of that one dollar, right? So some of you were asking of someone, a group of people, family, friends, loved ones, romantic partners, whatever, uh, asking more of them than what they had to give. And maybe they even put up a farce, a falsehood that they could give you more. They can give you what you were asking for. All right. So Aquarius, the cards want you to see. Universe wants you to see. Spirit wants you to see. God wants you to see this person, these people through the eyes of love, through compassion, empathy, maybe even just kind of you know, really relating to them, like in terms of, okay, you, you just didn't have it to give. I wanted protection, guidance from you. You didn't have it to give. I wanted something from you that you just did not have to give. Therefore, it's going to make me, it's going to make it easier for me to forgive you. Forgive. They didn't have something to give you in the past, in a past dealing, in an event, in a certain situation in your life. They didn't have something to give you. Now you have to forgive. So you get a moving forward. You need to give. You need to give compassion, understanding. All right. Spirit, somebody talking to somebody. Spirit talking to you. They're talking to me. They're talking to everybody. All right. You need to, you need to learn forgiveness. You know, I, it's hindering something here. That's why I came up. You know, you say, oh, yeah, 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 I forgive them. I forgive them. But all you can ever talk about is the negative about the, that person. And maybe, you know, it's still resonating with you for whatever reason. And, and let's not get away from validity. You know, your hurt, your pain, your shame, your whatever may be valid. Valid. It's valid. You know, but... At the same time, like when do you start to see it differently? When do you st when do you start to get over it? 
And the beauty of this entire conversation is you could say, I never want to get over it. I'm never going to get over it. I'm never going to forgive. I'm it's your life. It's your choice. I accept. Universe accepts. Whatever you want to do, you're a co-creator in your own life. So choose this day. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? All right, so let's see. What do we have for the Aquarius? So it seems like it might get a little deep. So if, you, if you're here trying to find out if Johnny slept with Sally down the street, we might not find that out, okay? If you want to know if he's gay, if she's gay, if they steal your $100 bill, might not find that out, okay? Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe you'll find it. Look through the catalog of readings. I don't know, maybe you'll find it out. Or another reader can help you, or you can just use your own intuition. All right, let's see. What is happening? Okay. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in reverse. So, this talks about, and this deck has reversed. This is my only deck that has reversals. So I was like, prompted to use it. Okay, so the Knight of Wands in reverse. Uh, fast action, charming, charisma. So, <clears throat> coming out of like taking fast action oh this might even be like indicating of like running away you know and not dealing with you know not up for it you know you don't you don't feel like you're up for that challenge you don't feel like you want to take the opportunity um what is this about before the aquarius yeah queen of cups so take the opportunity so maybe um what it's saying is you need to slow down and take the opportunity to heal listen to your intuition intuitive awareness um hone in on your spiritual gifts understand that you have a layered personality you maybe even have many talents um you just need to practice emotional stability so going up being up for the fight being up for the drama being up for the opportunity you might need to slow it down Some of you haven't really closed out a cycle. Finish what you started and you need to do so. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. So this is karma. This talks about going on that spiritual trip, that spiritual journey. Okay. Um, some of you walked away, ran away from certain situations because it, it wasn't giving to you. It wasn't feeding you. All right. Uh, you were giving to it. But you're finding yourself at the same place now because an eight is a circle. It's two circles on top of each other, right? Um, so it's like you need to learn something. Intuitive awareness. You're finding yourself at the same place. You ran from this person to go to that person or go be alone. But then you found that you were in the same situation or you're dealing with the same battles or the same demons or the same. So it's something that you, you're you missing. Okay. Um, I don't know. This could even be indicative of somebody who starts things that don't finish them. They just walk away from it. You know. You may feel like you had to walk away from someone out of an act of self-respect. And, and, you know, that's commendable and it may be valid. Back to validity. You had to walk away from them because to stay there would be like you slapping yourself in the face continuously. Like, you just had to walk away because at this point, you know, you're doing it to yourself, right? But even in that walking away, you're finding... That you're at the square one again. I don't know, some of you having to travel back, be visitors in someone's home. You could be a nomad at this time. You could be sleeping on sofas. It's like you're, you're, the universe is reducing so that they get them build up. So taking away all that you thought meant something, all that was real, all that you, you thought was valuable. So now that you can see that you got to deal with something, something that has been in a continuous and ongoing cycle in your life. You have not closed something out. Back to forgiveness, seeing something through the eyes of love. It talks about visitors in the home with the eight of cups here. It talks about spiritual journey. So maybe you got to go visit a home. Home talks about foundation, roots, mom, mother, father. So maybe you're going back to this is the holiday season coming up on for uh, the United States. So um, 
people are going to go visit family, family members they like, they don't like, um, family members that hurt them, didn't hurt them. Uh, you know, all, all kinds of things are, are, you know, resurfacing now. And if you're finding yourself at, at that same place, you try, somebody tried to run from something. The universe took them right back. All right, let's see. Yeah, it, but it took you back for the Ace of Pentacles. So you have the opportunity to build on a firm foundation. This is the opportunity for self-actualization. Come into the highest psychological development of self. Understanding your true potential. You can't understand that if you're in some like continuous cycle of woe is me. It's happening to me. They do it to me. They hate on me. Um, I'm the black sheep. Uh, I'm always the outcast. I'm the odd man, odd woman out. Those may be valid statements, but if you shift the perspective, seeing something through the eyes of love, right? If you shift your perspective and you say, well, I'm always the odd person out because I come with, um, maybe very eccentric, uh, valuable, uh, idea. I'm the odd person out because I am different for whatever reason. I am set apart. I am chosen. See something different. You know, um, this traumatic situation happened to me because now I'm in the process of healing myself. Maybe so I can help other people heal themselves. Maybe people in a certain same situation. Look at some, you can, so something about shifting the perspective, running away from the issue, running away from your emotional problems is not going to help you because all it's going to do is resurface in some other person, place, or thing. Okay, uh, I want to get out of my bad marriage because uh, he or she used me in any capacity, whether it was for money, sex, or whatever. I don't know. They used me. They hurt me. They took from me. They abused me. They kept me down. They put me out. And then you run from that. Where do you run to? Possibly run to maybe even the same or... A similar situation because you hadn't dealt with the hurt. You hadn't looked at it from the difference of. Okay, I allowed someone to hurt me, use me, abuse me, take from me. I stayed for an extended amount of time. What about me allowed for this to go on? What what in me would say this is okay? It's about fixing you, and then you can create the reality you want but you can't create the the reality you want if you haven't fixed you because you'll just go somewhere else and do the same thing find the same person different face i hate my job i hate the people here they hate on me they lie on me they hold me back they put all the work on me uh, i'm the scapegoat blah 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 i need a new job get a new job what happens they hate on me. They lie. You know, so it's like, okay, when are you going to start to really drill down on you? Ask yourself the questions. Why is the hate? Why Why does the hate come? If this is what it is, it's really about seeing something differently. The universe wants you to look at everything from a, maybe a different perspective. Um, all, some of you like calm composure. Different perspective see something through the eyes of love okay so there's only two real emotions and that is um fear and love right and fear could even be synonymous with hate so um if people hate you or fear you it's because that they see something in you that they love or that they want they desire they covet so that's how you look at something differently you know, they're hating on me because maybe they're not at a capacity where they can think, do, have. It's something about me that they love to hate. They hate to love. You can't do one without the other. So, I don't know, you know. The, so, this is a, a reading for the Aquarius who needs to shift the perspective. And, th and then you shift your life, you shift the paradigm, you, you open up 
then things start to happen. Spirit is not about to bless you with all these different things you're asking for. And you can't even, you're not having self-awareness. You're not aware of the experience that other people are having around you, with you, about you. You know, you keep thinking it's you. It's happening to you. It could be happening for you. This could be a setup. Yeah, five of wands coming out. Your viable competition. I don't know what that is. Anyway, you could be someone's competition and people look at you as competition, op opposition, opposing. You you <clears throat> you always oppose. Um Aquarius, sometimes Aquarius uh personality could be one that is, you know, always opposing on the other side because you you're able to take yourself out of it, out of the the reality of it. You're able to see both sides. For you're the star. So you're in the sky. So you have a higher perspective, a higher view of things. You're not minimizing and drilling down on things. You're, you're, um, you, you, you can maximize things. You see it, the, the bigger picture, bigger, larger perspective. Therefore, people look at you as um, opposition. You know, you're the opponent. Maybe even competition. They want to beat you out or beat you for it whatever it may be you may even be in a competitive environment job you could be in sales you could be in in something that yeah you could be in sales okay um something where there is competition there's pettiness there's backhandedness drama um there is uh friskiness um Like here, like water cooler talk. The gang or ganging up. Everybody's fighting for what they want. What they think they want, right? So everybody's fighting for something different in the five of wands. Which brings about discord, disharmony, dissolution. Um, maybe even disori disorientation. Like someone being disoriented. They're not seeing something clear. Oh, this could even be you, Aquarius. Because you're not like seeing, you know, that um, you you are the opportunity for wealth. You have a wealth of knowledge or uh, something about psychologically understanding yourself. Self-actualization. You actually understanding your true potential. You could be a healer in some capacity or this is what you want to get into. You could be an herbologist. You could have a garden, a start a garden or starting a new business. Some of you, you don't know where to. So you need to go on a spiritual journey. You also need to ask spirit where you would best serve. Because when you find that you serve others, um, that's where you need to be. And then the money will find you. It's not the other way around. What do I need to do it so I can make a lot of money? Then you'll be you'll do anything, right? It won't even be the thing you're supposed to be doing. You just need a lot of money. So this is really drilling. Yeah, ten of swords drilling down on yourself, um, breaking some type of generational curses or curse or just a, a run of bad luck, maybe 10 years or more. Um, this could be like um, breaking the chain, breaking free of with the Ten of Swords. It says that something has come to a place of completion, the fullness of a thing. But it's about, it's not a major arcana, so it's about you walking out of it. This is playing the martyr, being overly dramatic, Woe is me. They always hate me. Me, 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 me. They did this to me, me. Oh, me. Yep, because me, you know. But you, this just fell on the floor. The chariot card, you have the opportunity to be the victor. To put yourself first, to understand yourself. This also talks about astrology. You might need to pull your astrological chart and see who you are, where you are, where the planets were, when you were born, where they're going, where what transits, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So that you can be victorious. 
so that you can get in control because the cherry talks about being in control of emotions and the thoughts so it's like you don't know it's like your emotions get the best of you i don't know it's just like um yeah you are the underdog you were the underdog okay so so we've come to determine that you were the underdog you were the person who was not supposed to make it but you're making it and you're doing it um right um but you can't get caught up in the fact oh i was the underdog and you know, like when does the story change The chariot card stands for cancer. Cancer sometimes can live in the past. This could even be some of you needing to get over the past, moving forward from the past. You need to make some goals for yourself. Short-term goals. Smash them. Move forward. But this won't be... You can only move forward in this capacity when you get in control of your emotions and your thoughts. You're letting something get the best of you. Therefore, you're coming off as like pity party. What was me? It happened to me. It could be something, you know, heinous and grievous, grievous, like, like just, um, I don't know. It could be something that just the unthinkable, the unforgivable that happened to you. But at the same time, you have to come to a place of when do you shift the dynamic? When do you take the power back, the power dynamic, six of pentacles? When do you, um, rewrite the narrative? When do you become the victor? The chariot card can't the sun is I want some of you to speak with your angels 313 showing up um learn how to commune with the angels you know um, you learn how to commune with the angels so you know you want to get your schedule okay for whatever angel you want to you, so you gotta learn. That's that's the whole learning. I'm not gonna do, go there, but anyway, you gotta learn how to um, commune with the divine. You gotta learn how to. Some of you just are not listening to your intuition. The high priestess in reverse. The three of pentacles upright. So it's all about the physicality of the thing. Of it's like you want to look at the physical, right? You're not listening to your intuition. You're not um, doing your own thing. It's like you want to partner and group up. Right now, some of you don't have your independence. You're not by yourself. You don't live alone. Maybe you have a roommate. Maybe you have to go into some capacity where you live with someone. And you have to make it work with the Three of Pentacles. I don't know if that'll do any better. All right. Yeah. Okay, so you, this just looks like somebody's got to go backwards before they can go forward. The two, yeah, you got to go backwards, two of wands, the eight of wands in reverse before you can go forward. You're in a real critical place, a turning point in your life. The two of wands stay here in the past. Woe is me, blah, blah, blah. Or understand that the, the grass is greener on the other side of looking at something from a different perspective. Intuitive awareness too. Knowing that either you're going to stay where you are and um, the two of wands talks about a critical choice or decision because um, the wrong decision can lead you down back down that karmic road. We talked about that earlier. Okay, you... you you don't heal. You don't want to go through the healing process. You feel like you've done enough healing. Um, and then you you choose wrong. You decide wrong. And then you're back into some same old karmic situation. Still learning the same lessons. Still waking up to the same old hell. But just a different place now. Different place. Different faces. But it's the same thing. The Eight of Wands in reverse. The obstacles have not been removed. The conversation has not been had. You have not declared your intentions or someone has not declared their intentions with you. The justice in reverse. You feel like it's something that's unfair. But it's all because of maybe like decision making. Um, 
Why just to sell reverse? Because this talks about an unjust, unfair treatment. Something being, feeling like you've endured enough. Could be King of Cups. You feel, you feel like somebody treated you unfair, unjust. But why not ask the question of why? For, ten of Pentacles in reverse. It could even be your family or father. Scorpio, Pisces coming up. Virgo. Libra. Libra male with the King of Cups. Um, King of Swords at the bottom of the... This could have been the same sex relationship. It was just a lot of hostility and... and um, no conforming or bending, bending of the will, bending the knee. I won't bend the knee to you. These are two kings. Like somebody, when do you see kings bowing to another king? No, we're going to fight it out. We're going to have a battle. We're going to have a war. So it was like maybe a relationship where you were at war. There was no, you have to have something to offset energy. So if you've got a king, you need a what? Ding, 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 ding. You need a queen, right? It doesn't mean that you need to have a man and, and a woman. Um, it just means that somebody needs to be in the feminine energy. Somebody needs to be in the masculine energy. But you got two kings showing up. So you got two people in masculinity. So it's going to be hard to negotiate, have compromise, work well together. There's no conceding. There's no giving in. I'm not waving the white flag. We'll fight it out. We'll go to battle. We'll do battle before I uh, bow down to your will or you bow down to mine, right? Somebody, King of Cups, could have kept options open, cheated, lied, emotional manipulation. Then the King of Swords came in with the um trying to be rational strategic a lot of thought provoking conversation or maybe going over in the mind you get scorpio coming up twice capricorn um could be aquarius man Libra also. So you get somebody who was trying to be fair with the King of Swords. So this would be like the king that, you know, makes good decisions, cares about the outcome. So this was somebody who was always trying to be diplomatic. And this may have been someone who more so was emotional, um, could manipulate in a good way or a bad way, whatever capacity. But you had two people who just weren't weren't willing to. There was no changing of the minds, and there I don't know. There was like no working together. No, it wasn't synergy. This was just maybe coexisting back to roommates. I don't know. Somebody's coming out of somebody's like seven of cups in reverse, like emotional fall getting control taking control getting control back upright the seven of cups could talk about losing control indulging overindulging could some somebody's getting back on the right track could talk about procrastination and the upright um wishful thinking so someone is taking action now getting back in control yeah page of getting back maybe on a he healthy regimen like uh, with the page of pentacles, looking at the tarot, divination, spirituality, just get having a healthy, maybe spiritual life. Also, um, page of pentacles, maybe good news in, in terms of financial matters coming into you. News, news you can use, right? Then the page of swords. So. This could, uh, the two pages here, there was a lot of like false starts, but to, the timing is off or it was off or somebody is trying to do something and the timing is not right. It is off. King of Wands showing up now. We've got three kings showing up. So you do have like significant 
uh, change and then you also have a yes answer and whatever your, your question is and then you also have like um, if you're in business whatever your business may be it could be your own business or business whatever um, you could have like some turnaround in business business matters will go very well for you maybe unexpected uh, money income coming to you also Maybe because you you decided to, this is definitely for somebody who's in business for himself, entrepreneurship. Maybe even somebody who works from their home. Decided to take action, looking at the bigger picture of a certain situation. This is also maybe like transmuting the energy in terms of I went through, I'm going through this thing. It's bad, but I'm going to start to put more focus energy on myself. Uh, heal my emotional wounds and then also my maybe um financial situation my health health is coming up you could be getting second third opinion something is the timing is off but you do have a yes answer What else do we have for Aquarius? The Ten of Wands. Okay. Um, something was karmic. Maybe with uh, this King of Wands. Aries Sagittarius. Leo Sagittarius highlighted a male cancer. Okay. Um, Sagittarius in the Ten of Wands also. Uh, so. You may have. Um, yeah. Yeah. This could have been a karmic situation where you were just, you did all the work, just keeping it together and you just didn't know where this relationship was going, but you just kept on showing up for it. It's like a, you know, a job that hasn't paid you. They say they pay on Friday. Excuse me. They say they pay on Friday. Friday comes around. There's no pay, but you show up on Monday morning. You know, it's just like, okay, well, you will eventually pay me. Yeah, you're a little upset. Now you didn't get paid, but you're like, okay, I've done the work. When they do pay, it's going to be a big payout because I'm doing the work. I'm showing up. I'm a good, you know, is being on autopilot, not knowing what's going to happen. How it's going to work out with the Ten of Wands here. Also karma, needing to work off some karma, needing to learn something. Um, your burden to carry. The Ten of Wands. Somebody's in their own little personal hell that they've created for themselves also, you know, aside from you, Aquarius. You may feel like, that, you know, it's, you know, lollipops and gumdrops for this person, but they're in their own little personal hell. They just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Um, they just keep waking up to their own little personal hell, kind of being on autopilot. This is the karma that we create for ourselves. This is, you know, the burden that you, the cross you have to carry, the burden. This is, you know, somebody even behind, hiding behind busyness, you know. This is even like with the Ten of Wands here, it says that, you know, keep going because a big, major, you know, breakthrough. The Ten talks about, you know, breakthrough, now poof, and then it's going to turn into something else, you know. Um, it talks about disseminating energy. So it's kind of dissipating. It's going away. It's turning into something else. It's mutable. You can mutate this. Okay. This tough time. This tough energy. This tough job. This tough people. This burden. You can mutate it and turn it into something else. Okay. Take that energy. All of the negativity. What they say. You know. Oh I take the hate of my, uh, of my enemies. Or I take all the hate. And I just you know. Turn it into, I don't know, there's like a saying that people used to say, I, don't, I can't keep on all this shit. Um, the four of pentacles in reverse, like coming out of like a stuck, stagnant, toxic situation, relationship, deep-seated uh, wounds, tra traumatic, uh, childhood drama, you know, all of this stuff. It's just like, what are you going to do with it at this point? I mean, yes, we, you got a story. Tell me your story. Okay, yep, uh-huh. And that happened. Oh, whoo, oh my gosh. And you came out of that. Okay, great. All right, so now, um, what are you going to do with that story? You know, outside of go tell somebody else the story. And some of you just don't have an answer for that. Outside of go tell somebody else. 
how they did this and did that and you know what about how does that story help someone else how does that story help you Some of you need a, you could write a book I don't know you know but it's something about transmuting this energy because it's getting I, I feel like spirit is even tired like okay you know <laughs> we get it yeah three of cups it's like communicate how do you communicate how you this better you or it made life is better for you or how do you help other people it talks about siblings sibling rival rivalry and um it talks about early childhood communication or early childhood learning like what did you learn about yourself what were you taught what did you learn in terms of how to communicate did you learn how to shut down walk away lash out what do you learn from someone that will nurture you mother the three is benign i believe so that it that could be mother yeah okay yeah the three is benign it's mother what did you learn from your mother or mothering or nurturing did you get that nurturing is the relationship dysfunctional, fragmented? Fix it. Because it's resurfacing in your life. And then you feel like, oh, I've gotten over. I forgive her. Uh -huh, uh -huh. She's coming over. No, uh -uh. she can't come to my house. I can't stand her. No, no, no. I, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to see her. I don't want to just deal with her with a long spoon. I see her on the holidays. I don't want to talk about it. She won't admit it. Yeah, come on. Yeah, something about mother. Queen of Cups, you need to apply. So that's like pressure or application or you need to be open to the conversation. The King of Cups. Wow, this is a relationship too for some of you. Or is that the Knight of Cups? That's the Knight of Cups, I'm sorry. Um... Some of you got some a lot of gifts. You got a lot of gifts. You like you're really talented. You need to apply yourself more, especially in in the realm of like beauty, fashion, cosmetics, aesthetics, all that stuff. Apply yourself. This is coming up with create. Excuse me, creative ways of how to um make money, make opportunity. Somebody is going to try to. Put on a lot of pressure to make you fall in love with them. Could be fixed water. So the Scorpio. Somebody was applying a lot of pressure. Manipulation. To make you fall in love with them. They like the falling in love part. Okay. I don't know if they like so much. Like maintaining a relationship. Yeah. They could have even had like. More than one relationship. While having you. Yeah, page of cups in the reverse coming out. A lot of cups. So this has something to do with relationships or how you relate or how someone related to you. How they communicate with you. The page of cups. Now they're cold or you're cold to them. Someone could be wanting you to come back because they feel like you're the one that got away. They want you to fight for this relationship. The page of cups in reverse. They don't want you to come into like intuitive awareness, develop your clairvoyance so you can see through the farce or the falsehood that somebody created for you. So they're going to apply pressure to get you to this one to come up to get you to um, maybe change your mind. Somebody sees that you're not romantic with them anymore. Page of Cups in reverse, but you just don't care. This could be child to mother. Someone sees that you don't want to talk. You don't want to have a conversation. You know. Um, you feel like it goes in a roundabout. You feel like somebody's mind is like upset. Or it's like. 
this person lives in the upside down like they don't live in reality like they live where they want to live and, and they create their own reality so it's hard to get through to them somebody could be watching you eyes eyes are significant for you somebody's eyes or something about eyes or something with the eyes or hurt eyes or eyes or I I don't know um see this person through the eyes of love you made me have a hard time doing that shit with the page of cups in reverse and the eyes you can't see them through the eyes of love it's like you're just not over it back to earlier if you're not over it admit that you're not over it stop fighting with that it, it, it would feel better it would be easier if you would just admit to yourself you're not over it it's okay to not be over it you'll get there you can even declare that to yourself i'm not over it but i'm trying to get there if you're not over it type down in the comment section i'm not over it but I'm, i want to get there because we got too much of lying to yourself so that you can create some other falsehood somewhere else i don't know this is you know it's it's becoming redundant yeah okay so somebody was a drama 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 chameleon so they were acting like they weren't who they were they were the person bringing all the drama this could have been a person who gas lit you they would make you feel like oh no you didn't see that or that's not that or you know they would really you know have you questioning your mindset your frame of mind telling you you're the dramatic one uh you could be overly dramatic um you could be the drama chameleon right now because you just won't see something differently if you just you would upset your perspective so you turn it upside down upset it you know maybe you'll see it differently you can come out of all of this some of you just don't want to come out of hurt maybe hurt is a good place for you i don't know maybe you've gotten sympathy you know some people live their life their entire life like that like people sympathize with them and empathize with them because you know they tell their story they get this they get that they get hugs they get kisses they get i don't know so some people like being the drama queen they like being the drama king some people like telling the the horrible sad story um some people like hearing that they're they were the angel in that situation and the other person was the demon the devil or whatever i don't know but you got to get something out of it right so maybe somebody likes that um so these years could be significant 1969 1970 1971 1990 1984 1998 1986, 1991, 1999, 2000, 2001. These were the numbers that I got when I was prompted to make these cards. So those numbers could be significant, years could be significant for you. I don't know. Uh, for whatever reason, for you, for another person around you, um, something could have happened in one of those years. You could have been born in one of those years. Someone else that's significant to the story could be born around those years queen of swords but you got to get to a place of like truth clarity you know what the queen of swords says it says that she'll hear you out because she understands that that everyone's opinion is valid your opinion is valid because it belongs to you you're a person you're a human being you're a human being um but that doesn't mean that your opinion is truth it's just valid she can decipher cut from you know truth clarity also it just talks about making something final have a final argument final disagreement the finality of this thing back to the ten of swords it says something is over for you but it's not a major arcana so it's like not the universe really like propelling you and pushing you it just says that it's over you can come out of it. It's like you can come out now. The tornado is over. You know, you were down in the cellar, the basement. I don't know. You can come out now. It's over. There is aftermath, but it's over. You're not going to get any more of that. But you've got to learn how to come out of it. Some of you like hurt places 
Back to playing the martyr. Overly dramatic. I don't know. That could be you, someone else. Yeah, come out of it. Come out of suffering or suffer. Come out of being in like a dead place or it's dead is what the card is saying. Because you got it in reverse. Some of you keep trying to revive something that's over and dead. You want, Somebody likes to suffer. Someone's trying to come out of This is, you know, um, you know. King of Cups now. So you were dealing with somebody who was manipulative. They manipulated you. Oh, well, you got played. What do you do about it? Move. Make a move. 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 Heal. Heal. This is, um... I don't know what to say. It's like somebody just refuses. You know how it's like some people get so comfortable in their in their trauma, like it, and they now wear it. They put it on every day. They wake up in the morning, brush teeth, wash face, do hair, put on clothes. Oh, and let me get my trauma. I forgot my trauma. I gotta go back to the house and get my trauma. I have to keep it with me. This is becoming like. It's beyond. Yeah, heal. Four of swords. Nine of swords. Let it go. Your nine of wands. It says you're at the place of, you know, the, the beginning of the end. You can really let this go. Stop looking at the past. You know, the nine of wands says keep looking at the past. Therefore, you can't rest in the present and you damn sure don't have a future because you're looking at the past. Wondering if I should go. Oh, I left my left my trauma at home. I wonder if I should go back and get it or I don't know if my day will be good without my trauma. Hmm. Like you're having a, a, an anxiety attack because you might have to let this go. Somebody's reliving something over and over again. Nine of swords. Some traumatic event. Drama. The inability to cope with the fact that it happened. You relive it. it. It crumbles for you each and every day. Or you crumble to it. Or you just succumb to it. The lovers. It says you can have a new contract. A new soul contract. If you would just heal. The lovers talks about um, health. S systemic. Systemic. So something is if it's a system. Then it's a part of something. Right? This thing works with that thing to make that thing work to make that other little piece over here work so that that other thing, the bigger part, the bigger, the, you know, this mechanism helps this mechanism work so that the wheel can turn, if you, if you will, right? So something that was systemic. I don't know, this could even be like, you know, um, Oh, this was your soul contract. So everything that happened to you was supposed to happen. You know, I got into saying that to myself maybe like a year ago now. It was supposed to happen. Even when it like bad stuff. Oh, I just say it to myself. I don't try to say it out loud. I might anger somebody, right? It was supposed to happen. A tree falls on my car. Oh, I'm pissed. But it was supposed to happen. I get all the way to the grocery store. I leave my purse at home. I have no money. It was supposed to happen. I don't, I don't know. It was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen. Yeah. So, I don't know. Whatever has happened to you, whatever has happened, it was supposed to happen. Just get in the habit of saying that. Life flows so much easier when you just get into a place of acceptance and release. Why carry all this shit with you? It was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen. You lose your company. You lose your job. Shit. Well, it was supposed to happen. The unfortunate happens. Loss of life for for someone who was dear to you. 
the only way you're going to heal from that type of grief is understand it was supposed to happen. And maybe you never get the reason why it happened, but it was supposed to happen. Everything is happening in accordance with, I don't know, you fill in the blank on that one. But you, life just goes at a different pace. When you just can accept. Because some of y'all get too wrapped up in. It happened. And they did. And uh, uh, oh my god. And, uh, there ain't no milk in the house. And I was like. Oh, there's the milk. And they. Was like, this is crazy. You're driving yourself crazy. And you sound like a broken record. To most people around you and maybe even to spirit so you're just like okay yeah seven of swords um this could be self-deception seven of swords this also could be um i heard procrastination i mean i never got that from seven of swords this could even oh procrastinating to to actually make a plan and do something this is also like um Oh, wearing that false mask. Like everything is alright. This is like being overly protective, overly cautious too. You know, you got your spidey sense up with everything and everybody. It could even indicate paranoia. Seven of Wands, excuse me, Seven of Swords, and it's Ten of Wands. So you just, Seven is about mastery, magic, control. So you need to master the deceptive thoughts because like ten of wands i created this karma this hell for yourself like let it go release something the seven can be about holding on to something that happened in a relationship somebody cheated on you just deceived you lied to you had some master plan you're still holding on to it. You're still upset about it. Could be a woman to a man. Somebody deceived you. Somebody was just unhealthy for to be in a connection with. But this is a choice. The devil. It chose wrong. Somebody chose wrong or someone is materialistic. Somebody chose beauty. Somebody was swayed by somebody's beauty and um, yeah, beauty. Man manipulation, beauty. This is, could even be somebody who was like self-centered. Now somebody's got somebody caught up in something. Somebody was like, this person is beautiful. I'm going to do anything to keep them or stay with them. we got fixed water, Scorpio. We've got Sagittarius. We've got Aquarius, third deacon. So that would be like late February. We've got Capricorn. We've got somebody that's not over you. Or you're not over them. There's like lurk, a lurker type of energy. They got something to tell you. You may have isolated yourself from this person because you're trying to practice emotional stability. You feel like this is toxic drama field. It's crazy to be a part of this. To allow this person to come back into your life would be um, it's not a healthy choice. Somebody is obsessed with this feminine energy. 
whether they want to admit it or not. We've got karma showing up twice. Ten of Wands and the Devil card. If I can pick the cards up. Ten of Wands. So karma. By way of somebody's choice. Somebody chose somebody. This could have been somebody made the wrong choice. Somebody chose this the wrong person and now they're it could be underwater financially. Two of Pentacles chose wrongly. Juggling money issues, transferring money, doing a lot. Busy. Trying to recover. Two of Pentacles. It's like something that's held up. Money is it's up in the air. If you're going to get payment or get your money back or or if you're going to they don't make a decision in your favor. So it's up in the air. It's up in the air. What is this about for the Aquarius? I can't make it up. Money came straight out in a past love. Somebody you broke up with or you're breaking up with. Something about money in the past love. Um, they broke your heart. They did something, you know, they were meticulous and strategic about getting something from you. You were an older gentleman. You could be going bald, going gray. You thought this was a true love soulmate. They could have been a karmic one. Oh, you thought it was some man gave his heart to somebody he thought was a true love. But they were just like a karmic soulmate. Karmic soulmate. Yep. The universe put obstacles in the way of this relationship so that you can start to see you come out of like deception. The wallflower. Somebody's not even getting out, going out, having a good time. Somebody could be can work on the scene, like a party scene. You work in a club, you can work in a lounge, you can work in a maybe you host parties, you throw parties. I don't know. You could be a DJ, anything in that capacity, but somebody's not having a good time when they should be. Someone is not even getting dressed up and going out. Yeah, because they're waiting for communication from either you, Aquarius, or you from them. Somebody's showing up as the ice queen. Somebody's cold to this union. They're done. Um, and they may be even far from you, Aquarius, or you far from them. Or... Uh, Somebody's far from you. Somebody wants to travel towards you. They want to recover the union. You may be cold to this and concerned about your money. Concerned about work. You've learned the lesson. The ice queen. Somebody feels like it's different. Just not being with you. Somebody chose to go and see if the grass was greener on the other side. It is not. Mature woman. Open relate. Yes, yeah, somebody... Can't make it up. Thought the grass was greener on the other side. Went out there in the world and realized that it, it just doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better than the Aquarius or vice versa. Aquarius feels this way about someone. Somebody wanted an open relationship or this could have been an open relationship behind someone's back. Somebody was always cheating in a marriage or a relationship. Somebody was always it didn't happen around year three or year two or four. No, they were from the jump. From the time they said they were your boyfriend or girlfriend. Even before that, when y'all were dating, they were cheating. <laughs> See you. Recovery. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Somebody's trying to recover the relationship. Uh, somebody's recovering like financially from making a wrong decision of... You know, choosing the wrong person. You're either on the tail end of recovery, so you're coming out. Like you, you, you can see the end in sight, and or some of you are just starting. Okay, some of you need to heal. You will heal. You're in recovery. Could even be in like um in uh rehab or something of that sort. Or you need to go. Ain't nothing wrong with doing work on you. Opportunity will present itself for um. Like, um, 
This is fortuitive. For, for, I don't know. What did I just say? Okay. Fruitful. For fruition. Fortuitive. Just wait and listen to your intuition. It's like guiding you. Be assertive. You can also insert be confident. To be confident in, in whatever you're doing. And, and to be confident is to have knowledge of, right? So make sure you, you have you know how to or you know what is true. That way you can be assertive. You can't be assertive if you're shaky, if you're confused, if you don't know, if you waffle back and forth, you know. So, yeah, some of you are going to have improving health, financial, physical, mental, emotional health, relationships improving also. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Okay, can't make it up. You can't be assertive if you don't know. That's why they're telling you to get more information before you make a decision or before you do something. Some of you can't be assertive because you just are in a place of, I don't know. This might be the longest reading ever. And let's leave Aquarius with some advice. Advice. Three of Pentacles. Work hard. You're going to work. Six of Wands. Seven of Cups. Six of Wands. So losing control emotionally. Don't lose control. Just take the high roads i don't know like scorpio's coming up somebody may di put dig you know deep an emotional dig on you you know right it says don't lose control or someone may try to hurt you say something do something hurt you on a deep level someone may even try to persuade you build Try to build castles in the sky with you. Say anything. The sweet nothings. Sell you a dream. Blow smoke up your ass with the seven of cups. But it says, take the high road. Strut off. Strut off like he's doing on his horse. Strut off in a different direction. So you're going to strut off. So knowing that, So knowing that you're doing the right thing. Escape the scandal. Something about scandal or scandalous. Somebody was like on a campaign trail to, you know, dis, I heard disarm or disenfranchise. I don't know. Take something from you. Um, they were on a campaign trail to defame your name. So they're telling a lot of people. Okay. But the cards are saying steal. Yet in steal. Take the high road. Strut off in a different direction. You know. Choo choose not to. Because the six is a choice. Choose not to. Five of wands. Fight. Be in some childish argument love affair or fight for somebody's heart or affection or attention because there's other people involved also so don't, it's the cards are telling you choose yourself with the six of wands move on somebody wants you to come back so you can finish something or they can finish you or they don't want you to work on yourself or work for yourself or work. They see you doing this high quality work. They may be coming against it. But it says, oh, somebody may even try to come to you and say they want to work with you. Or they want to work on it and work on the relationship or create, recreate this relationship. This is, um, I don't know if you can believe this. Seven of Cups upright. It says choose yourself. Opportunity will knock. I think it's going to come in a different capacity. 
different from what you're thinking. Somebody may just want you back because they see you as like the bread and butter. Working with you is best. You always have your half of the rent or you always have your half of the mortgage or you're good or you have money or you look good or you're healthy or, you know, I don't know. You have something to give. You're valuable. They're seeing your value now. It's like, okay, I want to come back now or I want you to come back now. And some of these people are so deep in their ego, they won't even admit that they want you back. But they'll try to bait you to choose them, do something, you know, make you jealous, say something, an emotional dig. I don't know. Since you should probably run away from this person. Yeah. All right. That's what I have, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I do a collective reading and then I answer your questions. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.